Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing today? It is Saturday. We got rain last night here in Texas where I'm at, and we haven't seen no rain for four months. But that's not what we're going to talk about today is I use nothing but Creality 3D printers. They all print. They print okay. Uh, sometimes you get real good prints. Sometimes you don't get such great prints. Sometimes you have to fight and fight and fight to get a good print out of it. And it's a real pain in the keister, you might say. Anyway, I have this Creality K1. It's been printing great. I love the speed on it. It prints fantastically fast. But, and I say that with a frown, or not so good a frown, it has problems. So I went on Facebook and joined a Creality K1 group so I could see what people were having problems with, so I'd be prepared for them. Uh, went on YouTube. YouTube, there's not a lot of answers for problems out there. So, all of a sudden, I'm getting an error message on my screen, which is great. It tells you, hey, you got a problem. But you know what? It doesn't tell you what the problem is. It just says you have an error, and it says you have a key code, and it gives it to you. So, I went online, and, excuse me, old man knows this morning. Anyway, went online, looked it up. It's the heating element on these first models. Now, I knew there was a problem with that, but I was hoping I had gotten one of the newer ones that had the replacement part in. Now, I got one of the old ones. It was bad. Uh, what had happened, there's a copper wire goes the back of it. Let me show you. what I got it right here. And this thing moves so blasted fast that this copper wire or this wire here had broken loose from its connector, from all the because if you have one of these, it goes bad. And there's some other discoloration on this part of the heating element. I knew about this problem, but this is my big gripe with Creality. You build printers and you let the public test them for you. And they have to go scramble fine parts and replace them. Well, I went on the Facebook page, put my note down there, what could I do? And two or three fellows said, you need to go here to the Creality uh, help page and message them and tell them what's wrong. And you'll, you'll probably get a new one sent to you. Okay, great. Well, they're offline. They're probably a day ahead of me. I might be able to get a hold of them tomorrow since it'll be Sunday and it'll be Monday where they're at. But you can't get a hold of nobody off off their hours that they work. And I'm in Texas and they're in China. So eh, eh, eh. that customer service sucks right there. But that's how it goes. So I went to Amazon. I bought the supposedly upgraded one. It is supposed to get here probably this afternoon, sometime, hopefully, and I'll put it back in there. And I'm scared to death that I'm going to break something else because this is pretty delicate materials here. And I watch the YouTube channels on how to do this, and they're just showing unplugging all stuff. No, this stuff has got this little tacky stuff on there, which keeps it in place. Uh, for all the moving around, and uh, it's hard to break loose. But the way they were doing it, just pulling it right off. And no, it does not pull right off. You really have to work it and get a pair of real small needle nose pliers, what I use, I, and get a hold of it and pushed it. And it was still a pain to butt them. But that is my big gripe with hopefully, not all, but Creality, they push stuff out on the market 
not properly tested. They use the public to do the testing, and then you can't get parts for the damn thing. The, the extruder part of the top, they talk about it jamming up. Well, you have to take it up out, take it apart, work on it, keep it clean, because it will mess up. Because if you do one thing out of whack, it's a pain. So that's my gripe for the day. Like I say, it was printing fantastic. It prints fast. I love the machine, but I hate having to fix a 3D printer one month after I buy it. It's ridiculous. I should have got at least six months out of it, but one month into it, I get this error message. And I see where a lot of other people on Facebook, they get a lot of error messages too. This is the difference between this printer and the other ones. It tells you, hey, you got a problem where the rest of them just won't tell you nothing. You have to go out and figure it out and work through it. But this one tells you you're screwed. So anyway, I want everybody to know if you buy this and I will keep you updated on how hard it is to fix and if it works after I get through fixing it. So anyway, y'all have a great day. Keep on 3D printing and enjoy it when you can. Bye all.